Hey, Grace and Peace fam. This is Charles with your midweek recharge. A little bit late, probably. <laughs> probably about 24, 36 hours late with it. But um, wanted to get it out there. And uh, I got something good that uh, I believe the Lord is going to encourage you with. And um, it doesn't come from a particular scripture as much as... Uh, it's certainly in scripture, but this is more about relationship building and uh, you know I don't know uh, for folks that have been maybe married for a while or or have had um, you know very long-standing friendships but you'll you notice that in a relationship um, that that individual will start to kind of give you clues give you an indication it may not always come right out um, initially but will give you an indication um, that uh, they want to do something different, that some sort of a change is coming, um, what have you. Well, God is, is no different. Um, I don't know if you've ever noticed in your relationship with God, there'll be times where God will give you a heads up that something's coming. Um, and not like necessarily a, a, a word of prophecy or something like that. I mean, it can certainly happen that way. Uh, but it's been my experience that, that there are occasions, there are um, kind of pivots in my life that God will begin to plant the seeds that that change is coming um, months and months. And even in some cases, family, I can look back and, and years ahead of time, God was warning me god was preparing me um god was was uh, giving me a heads up that this thing is coming and that that's that's our recharge for this middle of the week is to to really pay attention to be open to the leading and the urging and the voice of god and, and to acknowledge and recognize when your spirit has identified that something's coming, that a change is coming, um, and to embrace it, to embrace it, to be prepared for it. Um, you know, I'll often say that God is, is not going to contradict him, himself. God, you know, God um, is not double-minded. You know, God is not a hypocrite. And at the same time, uh, you know, God absolutely is 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 a is a a a, a not a stale God. Thank you. That not a stale God, not a stagnant God. God is a God of motion. God is a God of progress. God is a God of movement. And there are going to be changes there are going to be pivots there are going to be you know lack of a better word deviations in your path from your current course that God is preparing you for because God is taking you in a different direction God is taking his body his bride in a different direction the the church absolutely needs to be paying attention and needs to be open and needs to be listening to the voice of God. We make a mistake if our only communication, if our only interaction, if our only revelation from God comes from Holy Scripture. We are missing out on a dynamic, full relationship if we do not allow ourselves to be open to hearing and, and experiencing the, the right now today movement of God because our God is in movement. That's your midweek recharge. Be open to the movement of God. Be open to the voice of God. Be open to the changes that God wants to do in your life and through your life and be encouraged by that. Take some time and, and, and allow it to confirm itself. Uh, God is not going to have you do something crazy. God is not going to have you do something contradictory or hypocritical. And God will give it time to solidify. God will give it time to take root. Because our God is not a God of, uh, 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 of, of uh, hypocrisy. Our God is a God of love. That's your midweek recharge, family. God bless.